Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch's mouth. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give a fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I told you he has her shit. We're live. Oh, you're right. There Why you are we whispering it? What? Oh, what <laughs> up, why. motherfuckers? How y'all doing? It's Corey Holcomb. And the crew. Rizla puts his outfit on again. And um, we are here. What's today's date? The 29th? Yeah. This is the August 29th, 2017 show. And we gonna start the shit out on some 100 shit. Uh... First of all, I want to say to to the city of Houston, um, oh just the entire prayers. state, uh, who got hit <laughs> with all that. Yeah. Um, we 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 praying for you. We thinking about you. Um, mm-hmm. y'all motherfuckers got that real rain going on down there, and I know it's fucked up because one day I did a show in Houston and I didn't understand it. It rained a little bit, and they said the city was flooded and how the city is set up. Right. Um, certain places when it rain. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's built to f- get the worst of it. Which, by the way, speaking about that, now the storm's headed to New Orleans. Storm's headed to New Orleans. You know what I mean? So, shit. Uh, I hope you know the storm get knocked down a bit before it gets to New Orleans because it sounds like if it's going to New Orleans, it's going over a little bit of land or something like that. So, mm. or over anyway. the water. If it goes over the water, it strengthens. It's going over the water. It strengthens, right? Yeah. So anyway, I just want to say. Um, Houston, y'all motherfuckers, you know, y'all stand strong, stand together. Um, we, um, I'm, I, I plan on donating some money. I mm-hmm. saw old boy, the football player. Uh, what's the big, strong white boy who played for the Texans? He played on defense. defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot his name, but he's a player. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said he has some type of charity. Because I, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to donate to charities because I don't know if the people even get the shit. Right. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. Like, when you donate money, I wouldn't get a Red Cross no money. Who the fuck is the Red Cross? They finna give my money to the people who fucked up. That's what I want to know. Can somebody answer that question? I think they keep 26% of all donations. They think, keep 26% of all donations. Well, so they do have workers. Though. For they have administrative. They, right. Administrative, and they have people where they take them out there. So even after the fact, they'll have people coming up, going out there. And distributing stuff like that. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, with those charities, how do we know if they work? Somebody says, don't donate to FEMA. (laughs) Somebody said, Red Cross still owe Haiti. See, people be saying shit to me. Hmm. And his name is J.J. Watt. That's right, the player, his name is J.J. Watt. Uh, They part of Team Wicked. Yeah, it's like, I I don't trust these charities. I don't know what, I don't know how to help my the people of Houston where I know that something is going directly to them. And all this brings me to say that I'm so glad people are putting that motherfucker on front street, Mr. Oldstein. Uh, oh. I am so glad people are putting him. Joel. 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 Yeah. Joel Oldstein. Joel Oldstein. Because, um, I just, when I see him talk, I never was able to say nothing before. <laughs> but you felt something. But I, I just want to say to all of the people who fall for that mega church shit, sometimes things happen where people show you who they are. And if you fuck with a Joel Osteen after he has this church that he didn't pay for, Huge. The, thing is the like people a- paid for it. Y'all Am paid right? for it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And this is a time of crisis. And he's like, fuck you, I just got my carpet clean. You know I got a big fight this morning over that. 
Yeah. Or, with Mark. Oh, oh, yeah. You got in a fight with somebody about it? With Mark. I was what? telling you, him you about said, With Mark. Mm-hmm. Well, because you know, I don't... I, with what my, happened? Somebody took up for Joel Osteen, you know? Yeah, well, that and they did that, and um, they tried to say, oh, you believe in the news. I said, check this out. It's not the news. The news I- informed me. It's up to me to be- if I want to believe it or not. When I got the alert that what was going on, I make small talk, and I re- saw homie in, in the kitchen, and I said, hey, I was like, man, did you hear? If that, and I, this is what I, I worded it. If it is true, that is so fucked. Up. Well, and then there goes homie again. Like, oh, you, you, there you go again with your on the preachers. Wait, whoa, what, what, whoa. Hold if on. it's if <laughs> it, if if it's true, I mean, like, it is true. It is true. Yes, now, but when you speak on something like that, when you tell somebody when it just came through, you go, my God, if that is true, that's how I said it. I'm not gonna say it is because a lot of times, like you said, to the news, you don't know yet. I didn't have enough information. When people donate money to churches. You might as well donate it to FEMA. Mm. Mm. Saying, it's the wanna... same shit. If if you want to, like, I wish I knew a church or a group of people who were down there just riding around helping folks there out. There were some. I saw them. On I, the, yeah. Can we get a way to get in touch with the, the real motherfuckers I saw on them. the there ground? There was a whole family. There was a whole Whoever family. they may be. I w- Whoever I'm going to look them up. Watch, I just saw this program last night. There was a whole family. It was a father and his two oldest sons, and they all happened to have boats. So they were doing their own rescuing because the city wasn't, move- wasn't moving fast enough. Those are the people we need to seek out mm-hmm. instead of, Clearing your conscience by sending money to another hustle organization. You it, Clearing like, your conscience. You like, touched it. Like, like Joel Osteen. You know, man, look, man, y'all motherfuckers want to keep saying something wrong with Corey. Oh, Corey, you shouldn't be there. You should have faith. I have a lot of faith. I just don't trust church motherfuckers. I know what preachers do. They hustlers. They hustlers. And he ain't willing to fuck his shit up he built up to help people. He probably Which was is, thinking about the Superdome. Somebody said some shit oh, about but look, so what? tithes. So what? You recover, right. You recover. He said his shit is for tithes, not tithes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> tithes, right. not the tide. Right. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put him on blast because, motherfucker, I know that there's people out there who fucked up. You know what you never really think about, if, unless it happens to you, hmm. when you lose everything? Yeah. Yeah, and the church is supposed to be a refuge. Hello, one of the very, very, out of all the That's places. That's the first place really? you go, the church. Yeah. Yeah. Medieval times, go to the church. Food, shelter, sanctuary, that's what it's Peace. for. Peace, at any point, if you feel like walking to church, you're supposed to be able to walk into a church and just find some kind of solace. That's what it's for. Yeah. But church today is now oh, entertainment. Oh, yeah. It's a hustle. And my man hustles real good, and... Something happened that put the light on who he really is. And if you choose to fuck with him after that, that's on you. Mm-hmm. Or any other motherfucker that's like false flagging and get bust out. Uh-huh. You see what he is. You see what the fuck he is. I'm putting him on blast because I know he got a big ass church and they get a whole lot of free money. Free they say right. 77 million annually. Wow. Seventy-seven million annually. Five hundred one c c three nonprofit organization. But if he open the damn doors, I believe. I believe like when people do uh, have a church like that or something, they want to be picky who they let in. Right. Well. Oh, I'll let this person in, but I won't let that person in, and we all know where I'm going with this. Mm-hmm. People show you who they are all day in America. If you ignore it. You part of the problem. Just because you ignore it. How about that? Mm. You can't fucking do right. or or, 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 or. (laughs) You can't do right by turning your back. Right. Now, the media is about spin. So he's going to come out and spin it. Oh, they already have. And say, you know, I take care of these people. I donate this. We have this. You know, we have these, Mm -hmm. you know, you know options that we provide for the community he gonna do all of that to make himself look better but the reality of it is when the shit hit the fan fuck mother all nature you motherfuckers. was there mm-hmm. and you didn't open the door that's to something that's, that you didn't even pay for 
That's the reality. And once again. Your hustle is to take. And once again, the sign of the times. Watch yourself because everything can be exposed easier than back in the day. Just like that. They had that guy say, wait a second. I'm right here at the church. What do you mean it's not accessible? He did a live video and posted it up. Uh-huh. You can get to they it. They had that shit all over the, oh, the social no, media. That, yeah, right. Know. Everybody's like, no, it's not. The church is yeah, not yeah. flooded. But the they, church is standing strong because the people gave you the money. But that's what D.L. Hughley said about him. D.L. said God didn't tell him to open the church doors. Twitter did. Because okay, the, 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 the lash. He was getting a did backlash. He, did he oh, open, yeah. open them up? Oh, no, that right away, like a couple hours. Twitter yeah, went it. ham, like, for mm-hmm. real. They started making memes and all types of shit. Somebody, <laughs> somebody came to him, look, you're going to fuck the hustle up. You're going to fuck up all this money. They tried. If okay, we so ain't say, yeah. acting like we give a fuck. <laughs> right. they, they tried, though, look. Oh, you better it's get some butter. Oh, you can't get to it. No, fool, it's not. Look. Uh-oh, oh, shit. They didn't it ain't like you're going to have service this motherfucking week. The fools that fucking fall for your shit are stranded. They in a boat. Mm. They feet wet in a motherfucker. Your church members. Damn. You about to fuck up this bread, you Joel. You about to fuck this bread up. Open that door. We, 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 can the, we can get the church fixed, motherfucker. Open the door, motherfucker. Right. They going to keep giving us money. They going to have a gospel choir money. in this motherfucker this week, goddammit. <laughs> right. Fuck all that. Oh, no, nah, fuck that shit. We need it. He work it out. Jesus can't work it out. Jesus can't work it out. Uh, Won't he do it? (laughs) I I gotta say this shit. Man, this is the stupidest shit. Nah, I mean, you know I'm silly. What now? But there's some motherfucker out here who ain't got. Y'all talk about I ain't got no chill. You don't. Oh, no. Who now? Well, you do, actually. Corey, actually. You say I ain't got no chill. You actually got chill. He got some chill. It's just that his chill. Has a limit. Which one should I? Should I even bring this shit up? What is it? God damn. Now that's no chill. Oh, that's not. Yeah, and too soon. Oh, too soon. Ain't no too soon in the comedy oh, game. I know. Everybody who knows me don't knows my it. heart is genuine. It's pure. He's a good dude. But in the land of jokes... <laughs> No filter. Niggas be having jokes. And so you this, wouldn't get upset if somebody may just... They gonna talk shit about me when no, I die? No, but your daughter and your mom and your kids. So that's, that's, what, go, that's that, all game. It always takes a woman to be like, what about if your mama did this? No, 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 but I'm saying you wouldn't have no reaction. You'd be like, all right, you wouldn't stick up and say something about your... Mm, you should do that I don't kids. know them people. It's so a terrible joke. It's, it's a terrible it's, joke. It's, it's horrible. Well. Ignorant as Gooch the Great says, no, he got a picture me. of Whitney Houston Next and the city of Houston all wet. Talk about which Houston lasted longer underwater. Oh my God. That's just ignorant. brilliant shit. I couldn't help it. You win, motherfucker, because I was like, you a stupid motherfucker for that one. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Prayers going out to Do the you real Houston. You talked about somebody before in a moment of failure. Not to that extent, my God. You ain't never did nothing to that extent. Like that? Yeah. No. Look, they like no. Somebody said no. No. Oh, ah, ah, damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a real comedian. <laughs> Man, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn good. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's fucked that's up. That's whack. Look. That, yeah. Somebody say that's whack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that motherfucker. God damn, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't read this shit out normally, but I laughed because I'm silly. I'm still alive. Why are you alive? You going to do stupid shit sometimes. Well, you know what? I'm about to I'm about to do some sh- crazy shit then this week. Get yeah, ready. do what you're going to do. Look, uh. We Get are, ready. Uh, <laughs> what are you, why are you saying? What are you going to do? I'm going to do it. And you, y'all see. Well, we'd be so glad to finally get you to come out the bag and be who you really are in front of people. It's not uh, who I really am. But like you said, hey, life is sure. You know what? I've been having all kinds of little turnarounds like that. You know what? Sometimes really, shit happens. Really I've done isn't shit. Me, but I'm about to do it. I ain't got time to waste. I'm about to do it. I remember this, uh, this lady I was fucking with. Her son fell and bust his head. 
we had to take him to the emergency room, and I wasn't even fucking with her for real like that. But I was with him when he fell, and I was in the emergency room. I mean, I was in the waiting room. When she came in there, once we knew he was all right and everything, she was like, damn, that shit scared me. I said, boy, that motherfucker head said, Durr. You did, shut up, he did not. You did that. That head, that head said, Doop. You know that bumpy head shit? Well, you just like, the whole body weight head. is whack. I knew he was all right when we was going. He just, How it was, it was. all right when the stuff gets all jangled up in it there? It was fucked up back there. But he was just looking. Well, so after, how did you know, Doctor? When we was riding in the car, he just was like, "Doop." I was like, "He all right. Oh just don't let him." You know what they said? What's them old school don't remedies? Let him go to sleep. Don't let him go to sleep. That's what I said. But he wasn't even crying no more. He just was like, "Well, he was dumbfounded." Those are the poverty he doctors. See, he could see the look on your face. <laughs> that boy had why. the bass drum sound on the back of that. That flow was like, "Doop." <laughs> Stop. Poverty nurses don't Poverty. go to sleep. Right. Yeah. Poverty yeah. nurses don't go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Stay woke. <laughs> also, the people of Houston, this is also a reminder that they sell these kits. They're called survival kits. And I've been uh. saying this shit for the longest. And you don't have to you don't have to wait for a disaster before you buy one. I wanna say that. These people I've been I, saying that I, shit. I, I, I Here y'all go. I want everybody to buy one of them survival kits if you can off the internet. A, um, it's called a bug out bag. A bug out bag. They typically let about a hundred dollars, typically last seventy two hours. I suggest you get three. Get three bug out bags. Yeah, you don't have to buy them all at the same time. But get three. They got food. They got first aid. They got flashlights. They got all types of shit in there. They got uh, uh, tents and blankets and all types of shit for this uh, kind of stuff. Hey, D, if y'all, somebody y'all, had to, so late. if somebody had to uh, create a bootleg bug out bag, mm-hmm. like something to like last a, a week, to be like in a situation where you might be stranded in water and goods, stuff. A lot of canned goods. They last forever. Do they yeah. canned goods? Do they need Can condoms? Opener. Get some condoms, goddammit. What you if you got to swim in some real dirty water? Put a rub on. Ain't nothing going to swim all up in there, Corey. You don't know what kind of bacteria is swim Yo, up Pete, in there. That's you. If you're swimming in dirty water, you're put a rub on. You're thinking about that. You're thinking about other survival <laughs> stuff. Look, <laughs> food and clean water. Go get yourself one of them survivor drinking straws. They're cheap on Amazon right now. Somebody say potted $12, meat. $12, you can get one now. <laughs> potted meat. It turns Corey got a snack out bag. A yeah, snack yeah. out bag. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's hot in California today. So these bugs are really out. A lot of bugs, yeah. The warmer it gets. Mm-hmm. Anyway, somebody say assorted beetles for D. Yeah, I'm not right. Oh God. <laughs> flashlight. You need the flashlight in there. Yeah, you need the little crank radio. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Got yep. one of those. You got all that. Moist blocker. People are. So Harry nice. gummy bears, <laughs> nigga. You stupid. <laughs> JWW three one two. Harry Gummy Bear. <laughs> they need to make that for real. Somebody say Vienna sausage. <laughs> they, those are in a can. Those are, yeah. Word. Pop it open. Suck that sucker down. Uh-huh. Right. Somebody said shit will swim up your pee hole. No, but we need to figure out um, what's a good place to donate. The, the football player you mentioned was mm-hmm. good. But I, I mean, suggest. Like, I don't everybody. know him, but I feel like he's one of those guys with confidence. Right. I watch. I watch men confident mm. and how they walk, perform, all that shit. Mm-hmm. I trust a confident guy. I don't mm. trust a Joe Osteen. Nice. Joe Osteen looked like a little slick motherfucker. Well. Dance fever watching ass motherfucker. But now remember when all those people. <laughs> Danny um, Terrio. But right. remember when all those uh, people donated to, whose was it? Now, I don't want to say the wrong name. Was it Wyclef? Who was it that did that where they, a lot of people Wyclef. Who, I don't I'm, know. I'm, hold on. I'm trying to make he sure. He steals that, songs. No, but remember there was, a, there was an incident when they had that, uh, gosh, I'm trying to think of which disaster that was. That wasn't and, Wyclef. And I'm there sorry. Was somebody, You're talking about the Haiti say, earthquake. Yes. And they found out they yeah there was some stuff that was going on wrong, but he claimed it wasn't his fault. It was somebody else that had. They never claim it's their fault. No, but they proved it. 
it, it came out later on that they it was he was right. Well, good for him. It was something in between. But see that that got intervened. Like how could you right, steal from your countryman? You no, know, like but trying that. to give it to the and right person, somebody intervened. It all can all it can happen. Is what I'm saying. If you from Haiti and you steal anything, you a rotten motherfucker. No, he didn't do it wrong, but somebody intervened and tried to do something and made and made him look bad for a you second. You could throw the thing. economy off if you take a honey bun out of store in Haiti. What no. the fuck are you stealing in Haiti for? Oh, my God. Shout out. Oh, my God. The crackers are missing. We got to close down. The crackers. Somebody stop. stole a Pepsi out this motherfucker. Yep. <laughs> okay, Shout out to my funny. Haitians. I love y'all. What? Stop. They know that's funny. They know that's funny. Fuck that shit. God. Somebody said <laughs> poor that stole Haiti. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> that's messed up. Can't Dirty bitch. I ain't, I had forgot about her. Oh, here we go. Okay. Grinch with a perm looking ass. <laughs> what? She, she, did, she did used to have them big ass titties. I know they was musty. I know she would leave out without washing under them. I know it. I know it. And how do you know it? I just wanted to see them one day. I didn't like her at all. I just wanted to be like, let me see your best asset. Sock passe. Yeah, he's right. he what is she doing nowadays? Who is she robbing? Bobby's still got a show on there, no? Bobby's still got a show on there? I think so. I don't know. Look here, Poetus. I'm going to need my peanuts back. I left them on the desk. and They smell like smoke. I know mine. Let me smell them peanuts. In your... <laughs> peanuts smell like smoke. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm. Get out of here, man. <laughs> they, was, they was asking Bobby to donate his coat to dry out some of them rivers. <laughs> oh man! The gadget coat, the go go gadget. <laughs> the gadget coat. When he show up at them shows, that motherfucker look like a uh, African American Elton John. So turn them on, turn on them smoky coats. <laughs> Keep going. No, sing it. Look at him. Oh, oh look so at like him. that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby, funny. you see so egging you me right? on. Uh-huh. I'm just saying Bobby that don't shit get mad funny, at this man. shit. Bobby yeah, get do. mad if you oh, hate on his water. Wait, he said yeah, yeah he, he do. do. I he, think the, I, he hear thing, about it. Bobby was mad when I t- when I was laughing about that time he gave old girl that water and that dirty old milk jug. <laughs> <laughs> what was her name? What's the girl who I thought was cute? Brandy. Brandy. He put that shit in her hand. She was like, it was a jug of water. It was, drink this water. But it was. This water is from the rivers of Houston. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is from the Houston bath water. Uh, <laughs> it's been crystallized. Drink some of this. It's going to make you feel better. Somebody called it the Hellboy Coat. The Hellboy oh, coat. my God. That is Hellboy. You're right. Now we God have to damn. It's it. bigs off trading places. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'll your fucking heart out. Throw it over here. <laughs> anyway, somebody say Porter stole Corey neck. Fuck you, uh, real dog <laughs> sixteen. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> somebody say some Steve Harvey water. Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck all you motherfuckers. <laughs> Steve Harvey mustache is so good. Steve Harvey mustache, goddammit! You wash dishes with that motherfucker. Like yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> swallow our pride and huh. yeah. listen to the shoulderless stories of these shoulder mate loose talk, talk about, about bullshit. bullshit. All right. <laughs> well, before we move on, I want to just get this one out the way real quick and say happy birthday to Michael Jackson. He would have been MJ. 59. Today. today. Wow. He would have been 59. The wow. legend. Yeah. I miss Michael Jackson. Greatest entertainer of all time. Yeah. I, I miss seeing what he going to come out with next. Yeah. Uh, I like when they show the clips when he be talking that real shit, that 100 shit. He be talking some. be sleep on Mike. Mike knew what was up for yeah. real. Mm-hmm. Don't sleep on me, goddammit. I come about this makeup, goddammit. I fuck with chicken wings. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, but oh, why you do Mike like that? I fuck with chicken wings. Right, <laughs> that, that mean, he was, was the greatest man. He period. was. He was. What's the debate? Him and Prince. You know, a lot of people, you know, say Prince, but Mike just had a bigger impact. I think 
bigger global I impact. Mean, look, as a child, that's what you can't tell. He, come on, the man's been doing it since he was a kid. You know, well, Prince, Prince just amazing. didn't blow up. He was he was doing shit as a kid. No teenager, really. His father had him in them blouses when he was. Um, yeah, but he was like teenager. Michael's been doing. It. Look, when was he singing? Mike for was the, a little kid, uh, like Hello? nine. Prince used to yes. play so many instruments. Yeah, that's true. Which yeah. ain't that's easy. No, you know I, mean, I mean, and 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 random instruments like yeah. saxophone, yeah. piano, and guitar, did, and, and did all the recordings in the studio, and just brought in people shit. just to play for the, the Bagdoria uh, phone. God damn it, he's. Anyway, all right, so let's get it. Let's keep moving. I don't give a fuck. I know if, we started I late. Care, I don't care if, 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 if my favorite entertainer is moist, I'm old enough and mature enough to accept that because a lot of your favorite entertainers um, want to fuck you when they see you, fellas, and not just singers. Your favorite rappers. <laughs> they really want to say, fuck all that groupy shit. What's up with that ass, though? Okay. That's how the that's how the that's modern how day rappers it. talk. That's that's what they thinking. I'm a mind well, reader, goddamn it. Not how they talk. He's a mind reader, goddamn it. <laughs> didn't know rappers, that. singers. You didn't know when you um go to the Usher concert or when you put his CD in and shit. That motherfucker singing to you about confessions. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> moving on. All right, so um. I know a lot of you guys probably either you didn't probably you didn't watch the uh, uh, the the Trump thing last week when we were on air, but you saw it afterwards and you probably saw Maurice Simonette. He's known now as the Black Trump supporter. He was behind Trump last Tuesday uh, <laughs> as Trump was talking, and he was holding up the sign: "Trump and Republicans are not racist." He's, he's coming down. He, he likes it, though. I Who think is he that dude? I'm about to tell you. That motherfucker looked like James Brown and Serena Williams had a baby. Uh, Please yeah. play tennis. He, he's known, if, you, if he wasn't shown, at, if you didn't see him on that one, <laughs> a lot of other people know him as a, a YouTuber. He, he uploads a bunch of long-winded YouTubes of him. <laughs> Um, he's known on YouTube as Michael the Black Man. Uh, he discusses theories on race wars. It's kind of entertaining, involving Democrats, uh, Gentiles, uh, Cherokees. Anyway, he, he goes on these rants. Anyway, he claims, because people were sending him messages, oh, you were placed behind Trump, blah, blah, blah. It was obvious. He says, and he's crazy, he's cuckoo, though, if you listen to him talk. I wasn't placed behind Trump. I put myself there. Why uh, do you think? I'm glad I was there so I could get the message out, tell people what's going on with the Democrats and the Cherokee Indians. He's like a woo-woo that are absolutely destroying the black man and the white man of America. The what? Yes. See, he's a, he's a lost it. He's so gone that the, um, that, uh, what was the name? Now I lost that page. Uh, he looked gay. I'm just keeping it 100. Now you see that other guy that's on the, the bottom left? I know who that other guy is. Okay, he's the one. He used to be a part of that cult. So he just came out. That's that's Yahweh Ben Yahweh. There you go. That cult, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. When they when he appeared behind Trump, they right away went on the social media to tell people he's no longer with us. We don't have anything to do with them. He's he we, we you know he got booted out a long time ago. So they disclaiming him. Just that's why I put his picture up because he he went on the. Right. I don't think heterosexual males stand behind another man holding up a sign with his name. <laughs> heterosexual males do not do that. Even for their son, they'll be like, go boy! <laughs> but they're not going to be like... Woo, woo. Yeah, are you like <laughs> That's what they look like? Get out of here. So stupid. So what about at a basketball game or at a football game? I don't give no, a fuck cheering, if my son, yes. my son scored 50 points in the state championship. He ain't be able to contain himself. I'm yelling he his name. I ain't holding now. no sign up. God damn it. Well, that's true, though. Nobody <laughs> has no sign. I've never got no that's sign up. feminine behavior. Yeah, it's kind of trippy. <laughs> but anyway, so that's homie. That's his name. Coke dick in his ass. And he's <laughs> strange. Wow. We're going to have to play the count song for him. All right, moving on. Uh, remember we... Uh, talked about the story about Derek Fisher when he flipped uh, Matt Barnes' car when he was driving homie's car with homegirl in it. Right? Okay. All right. So he was just in court for it. So he, um, he can, the, the DUI charge. He now says he's deeply regretful. He entered a no contest plea. Um, but he did get, 
Oh, yeah, because he flipped it on the 101 freeway, and Corey claims he knows the turn. You know exactly where that was when he turned Man, so many cars flipped right there. Mm. When you connect it on to the four, I mean, you connect it on to the four or five. The one right there? I mean, the, um, the oh, I know you're coming off the four or five to the one on one. Oh, my yeah. God. You no can't wonder. speed through there. Now, can you imagine if they weren't both strapped in? See, but they literally flipped. They flipped the car over. Hmm. Anyway. I've seen it happen so many times right there. Well, what they walked was... away unharmed. Um, and remember, at the point at that time, he was arrested on suspicion of DUI. Uh, anyway, I'm like, glad oh. Derek Fisher wasn't harmed. Um, the biggest tragedy is he tore another motherfucker car you know up with what? his bitch in it. That is terrible. <laughs> That's the most. I know when he looked over and saw she was still alive, he was like, God damn it, this bitch going to be talking shit. <laughs> that's that's the thing like you would drive a car that a girl drive you don't know who car that is mm. <laughs> oh, fuck it. this mm. motherfucker driving matt barnes car matt barnes that's why matt barnes rushed over there first when he heard he was fucking her. he was like this motherfucker be tearing up cars oh he knew it ahead of time oh he just uh... <laughs> oh god <laughs> anyway. matt barnes was just finna check into the game and somebody hit him he wa- Coach, put it, uh, fuck that. I'm gone. I'm gone. That's this motherfucker going to tear my car up. Yeah, and he did later on. He foresaw the future. I didn't send you a picture of this, though, Frank, but it, this just came in. So Suge Knight, dang, just more trouble while he's in there. Even though they say he's not doing too well ever since he's been in, his health is not that great. Uh, anyway, he was indicted for threats against straight out of Compton director F. Gary Gray. Um, by a grand jury in Los Angeles um, for criminal threats against the straight out of Compton director. Uh, Knight was charged with one felony count making criminal threats um, in the incident on the set of the movie. So this ties in with the other, the death. And, 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 and this one he was actually charged. So they're actually adding this onto that. Wow. So, yeah. On the 3rd, on August 3rd, downtown Los Angeles, yeah. And, and they say he's very ill right now since um, since he's been incarcerated. It's just getting worse as health. So. I don't really trip off Suge Knight news because the truth is uh, the man don't stay in jail that long. Have you noticed that? What do you mean, don't wait? I know motherfuckers who go to jail for petty shit and do a whole bunch of time. 19 and a half years. You see what I'm saying? So what you think about this? You think he's ever getting out? I think he's getting out. He got out before, right? Uh, yeah, but I don't think it had to do anything with, 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 with that. Was that obvious death with uh, you in the video? I mean, even so they if, put even another if he was, murder on him is what you're saying. While he's in there. <laughs> right. While he's in there. While I mean, he's I, already I, I, in. I mean, Jeez. wow. It just, it just don't, I don't know. It just doesn't look that great. I'm going to put it to you like this. That was fucked up what happened at the movie set. Well, down the uh, street from it, but yeah, near it. But I give, I think, that, I think that Suge Knight is crazy than a motherfucker. When you run over the motherfucker that roll with you, I don't even play with motherfuckers like that. Mm. that I'm like, okay, mm. I, don't, All right. I don't want mm. no problems. Peace, I'm out. I don't want no problem with you. I ain't fucking with you. Mm. Right. Now. That motherfucker say the car go faster without you, Nick. Not good. Real talk. Mm. Yeah. The car lighter. Yeah. Shit, that I'm 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 a comedian. I'm gonna make jokes out of shit. But it's when I when I heard the facts of what happened, I said, God damn. That's wow. Some yeah. That's some scary pissed. shit. Yeah. Pretty scary. So, by the way, the movie was good. Yeah, the movie was great. Straight well, out of Compton good. was great, and he still Straight out of Compton. yeah he still oh. doesn't like how he was Did you portrayed. See it? Oh, yeah. He doesn't like how he was portraying it. That's what happened with it, too. He, that's what started all this with the Gary Gray, because he was, had already heard how his character was going to be portrayed. You heard about the brother who played his character? Recently, right? Didn't he go out? He's been, wait, he's what had happened? two incidences now. <laughs> every, he's like losing. Ever since he played Suge Knight, he be going to jail for Debo type shit. What? You didn't hear that? Yes, no. he's all over. You got to look it up. He's got I met my brother of- at, um, what's the name of that restaurant on Sunset? The Brazil? Brazilian restaurant, Bossa Nova. Bossa Nova, uh-huh. yeah. And he yeah. seemed like a real cool dude. Good eats. Well, that nobody's sure. going to act crazy while they're out in public. That's like people saying, oh, I didn't know he beat on his wife. He's so nice when I, I see him. I know motherfuckers who act crazy in public. Not all the time. You just go, wow, those when you don't expect it. And you go, God, they were so sweet. Well, yeah, they're not going to be out That's the dude there. who was, he was also in uh, the Luke Cage 
Was TV he? show on oh, Netflix. Oh, really? I never watched it, so I don't yeah. know. I, 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 one thing about, like, D, what you said, you never knew he beat on his wife. No, I'm just saying scenarios like that with people. No, I'm just saying when people, <laughs> when you hear stories about people and then they go, oh, he was so cool all the time when I saw him. I'm like, well, what do you expect? Him to hit you around? I don't think it's fair that the man is <laughs> always wrong when him and his wife gets into a physical altercation. I don't, I don't think that's uh, fair. You were telling me? You know I, I do don't believe that. That's My fair. mom was the beater, so you know right. that. Right. That's, that's wow. not right. They're, yeah. they're, you've heard the term woman beater, but you never heard the term man beater. Wow. That's true. Nobody and everybody's scared to say some shit about that, but either man beater or even starter because a lot I was of ones man I baiter. My, there you go, man baiter. Man I Ager like that. Honor. Man egg your honor. Told you, bitch. Shut up. You We're never not advocating it. that though, right? They need a what? What would the charge be? Man baiter? Is that the best one? Oh, how about how about you're a man baiter, no, bitch? How about we put her in the same category as Corey? What you an antagonizer? Antagonizer. She's All an right, antagonizer. D, way to go. Put your mm. glasses on the tip of your nose. They're not on the tip. Okay, the middle? They're not what people with good glasses put them. That's them lens crafters, two for forty nine ninety nine. dollars no, these are actually the Dollar Tree, and I think I got five for a dollar some. Yeah. I believe you, with two crickets in the bag. These are reading glasses. You can get oh, these God. anywhere. <laughs> he got cricket altoids in her purse. I'm not going to get played and pay $200 for some reading glasses like you will People do would, once, you're, once you discover your eyes are bad. Yeah, I know my eyes are going bad, but oh, they ain't as bad as yours. He admitted. No, they're not. Look, D. She cheered. Right. I noticed that. You see what happened when I look at my <laughs> that phone? That was wild. She see, just, I can look at my phone. It says, enter the passcode. Uh-oh, look how far away you're looking can at Can you do that? Look how you're looking at it. Right, far away. Yeah, You I have to be that. like. It does. Oh, all right. No, I don't because my font is big. Mm. Your font? My font. Oh. Ugh, anyway. That didn't sound right when a woman say my font is big. Font? Say it again. My font is my big. My font is big. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it sounds like, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> like she's got big turds or something? No. <laughs> Asshole overdeveloped and shit or something? Mm, here my, we go. Fa- no. my font is big. This shit is getting Anytime crazy. he brings up anything that has to do with hole or ass, we got to change the subject. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, all right, change the subject. <laughs> anyway, what else you got You got to read and struggle <sighs> through? Um, I was looking for it. You can't find it, can you? Shut you up, need because I, font. when you were talking to me, talking about the font crap, it disappeared. I never even thought of the word font till you said it. No, to you try to elaborate on something about it sounding funny. Well, that didn't last but less than a minute. That fucked you up like that? Well, because I turned you around. You a minute talking. off in life. Did you know that? <laughs> in life. Right. You stupid. I got to start. I got to reboot my mind. He said <laughs> fun. Okay. Anyway, now here it is. Mike Epps. Oh. Remember he was arrested for a casino fight? Did you ever hear about that? No. Oh, really? Look at that. Anyway, he got busted for a casino beatdown in New Orleans, and he was a no-show for his arraignment on um, Tuesday um, in um, February. But he ended up still ducking it. They only charged him, like, $200. I think it was – so, they, so, whoever, so In New whoever Orleans, that, that's a lot of money. I don't think the guy who he did it to is from New Orleans, though. Oh. Doesn't say where he was from. But that's all he had to pay the guy. So he got off pretty easy. Really? Result, uh-huh. He had to pay like 100 here and like 150 over here on two tra- one to the court and one to the- that was it. So he beat it. So somebody got off on um So that's inspiring, Zo. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. It. It's inspiring. Oh right. my god. So yeah. We're no, doing he, better after he we've it. heard that. Mhm. He beat he it, beat huh? it. Yeah. See if this was if this was Ray Rice, they'd be like, "Oh no, that's not good enough. We got to fuck your career up." No, so it says it says no jail time. So yeah, he just got fines on beating on, on beating the guy. It happened in February in New Orleans. Yeah, he got a thirty day sentence, but it with that was suspended. No time behind bars. Here it is. He paid one hundred seventy five fine and one hundred twenty five in court costs. Bottom line, he walked away with a total of three hundred dollars. That's funny. Yeah, and it was on camera and everything. So there you go. Either that or there's certain laws and non but I thought they'd be pretty strict. No, if you got money to um, have um, representation in court, 
Must your, what happens to you is not the same thing that happens to everybody else. Like, if you go to court without... I got to say it real. Uh-oh. Right, here we go. If you go to court without a Caucasian man or woman getting paid, <laughs> the fines are steeper. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. This is just how it goes. Mm-hmm. But if you, you know what I'm saying, if you got somebody who's speaking up for you, you just have to sit there and be quiet. It's, it's the funniest shit in the world. Oh, Shut and, the fuck up. And, Let and, me and talk. And don't look like yourself, too. So come clean. Put on a hair, suit. Put on God your damn it. Mm-hmm. Clean put, cut. Put some clean makeup cut. on to hide the patches under your eye and the all dark, that shit. Yeah, the party stuff. Put some vitamins right. in. God damn it. Look like you didn't beat your wife or, or took a, a bat to your wife. Look at all. Try to look like you're just a regular person. And in this case, don't sit with your chest all up. Look, look weak. Look, 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 look like you're, 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 very, you're very concerned about things that happened and shit like that. <laughs> act, like, act like you're a victim. Like you ain't never. You're doing a little nod hit somebody before that's a female or smaller than you. You know what I'm saying? You know that that's what they do. They coach him. Because remember when poor Chris Brown, when he was in the damn thick court and he was looking all sweet, sweet Chris Brown. You know that wasn't him. He was like, they got this, like, they got this kind of Feeble. Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't. You don't I don't, remember that? I, I don't even was, call. I don't even like calling names on this. No, but, but, they, but it was on TV. I mean, you couldn't avoid it. But it was like, there's all those people when they're in court. You see the coaching going on because that's not them. You know they want to be like, uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in this big. Like, no, they're like. Mm-hmm. She's saying like when OJ was in court, he don't really be writing stuff on papers during the day. They drawing, they doodling. Right. You're right. I don't Yeah. Think so. All you got to do is act like somebody did something to you and you didn't do nothing. I don't know why it victim. happened. Everybody's uh, picking on you. Uh, I'm going to have to get my gangsters up here. <laughs> oh, you bitch ass thing. Go ahead, that dude. That was funny. All right, I'm gonna end it with this. <laughs> I've been wanting to talk about this. This is so so interesting, especially to me, because you know how I am dealing with a lot of that the death doula stuff that I'm training the for. Who? Death doula. What's what that? Is death doula. Death midwife. Death doula. Like a birth midwife. What is birth a doula? death midwife? When you help the families as well as the person who's passing to pass with as much dignity as they can, and you're there to help. So you fuck people who's going to die? Like a pre-caretaker. Exactly. You're there to help. Yeah. But also, I'm into <laughs> burial information, too. Why do so they call it the death wife? Midwife, not death wife. God, you call oh. it a stop. death doula. A right. death doula. They do. They, that's, that's where they call it in some places in the United States. But I say it because people don't, they don't feel the whole death midwife. Calling, just like a birth midwife. What is a birth midwife, D? You've never heard of a midwife? Helping the baby come in. Yes. You might you help her with the breathing. Go out. Yes. Tend to the vaginal yeah. door to the monkey uh, get buzzed open with life. Is that about right? I, that, that's Corey's way of putting it, yes. Yeah. But anyway, I'm here to talk about death. And, <laughs> I, and these are so... So interesting. Anyway, there's a couple in, in Europe that started these, and there's a lot of places that are trying to get these to come to where they are at in, because it's, it's, it's um, organic. Anyway, it's time to say bye-bye to coffins, guys. These organic burial pods, so exciting because I want to be buried one, will turn you into a tree when you die. Will turn you into a tree? Yeah. So you're going to be climbing a bitch that's dead? No, you're encapsulated, right? So you're, you're put in a burial pod, either your entire body, right? Your nutrients, your body's nutrients help the tree to grow. It basically works like that. Your body's encapsulated in a fetal position. Then it's buried in one of the pods where either the tree or the seed help a tree actually grow. Now, Look if, at that you, shit. if you don't want to be put in the pod to be buried to grow into a tree, <laughs> what? you can actually be, your ashes can be put in the bio urn, and the bio urn's nutrients help the and tree. And this is the part of being a death doula. No, 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 this is something else that I've attached to it. They I didn't start it. planting motherfuckers when they die. No, we can't yet, but I would like that, yeah. I'm studying right now for home burial so that people so don't have to spend all that money feed. at services, funeral services. The tree will feed off of the person? 
off the person's nutrients from the body. So the so, sap will have sack juice in it. So your family, when they want to come visit, there's some other pictures. Sa- there's one sack in Europe, sap. There's one in Europe that started doing it already. So uh, it's beautiful looking. So instead of sap. all these metal things, so you have a tiny little thing that's dedicated <laughs> to your loved one, but the tree grows and you get to pick what type of tree seed because it's like a forest and they're going to be, they look like a f- huge forest instead of like a big, cold looking cemetery and they have gps systems on the little place where your plaque is where your name and all that information so you can always so find your family your can always come and visit you so you can, can piss you on the tree, tree house in, in there that hasn't come up yet but i would like to That's ask a good the couple. Idea. Yeah. yeah 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 i want to piss on a lot of trees with some motherfuckers got buried okay <laughs> so it's like it's like your way of giving back to earth and so a lot of people don't want to be um, when they're cremated, they don't even want their ashes saved or whatever. But anyway, this is a different, uh, you know, different look on things. So. Different way to do it. Some mm-hmm. motherfuckers like, I know what we can do. <laughs> and where, where, where an average... We could uh, make a tree out of nigga. Where average burial might cost anywhere from, you know, two to 10000 yeah. These right here cost at the most 2500 So a Cheap tree having ass nigga. So there you go. I'm looking forward to the pods. Natural green burials. He just be finding little shit. <laughs> little no, internet it's trinkets. It's, no, it's exciting because I've been following these people for a long time. But that capsule looks interesting, too. See, so look, that's how it's going to look. What? So there's like a cemetery on the left. There's the GPS system on the bottom. There's different type of trees that you can choose from that you want. Oak. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I want to be I want, oak. I want Weeping Willow. Weeping Willow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. I think that's interesting. What Burial kind of pods. tree would Bobby be? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't look. Yeah. Uh-huh. Kagan tree. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you had something. I, that's why I didn't want to say nothing, man. What kind of tree would Porter's be? God damn it. <laughs> I know what Corey would be. A sassafras tree. <laughs> I know. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, tree? but then again, no, he couldn't be that. Do raisins grow on trees? <sighs> raisins are grapes. They grow on vines. You're oh. going to be a Too blind bad, tree. You God couldn't be a raisin tree, Corey. A raisin tree? <laughs> He's going to be a... A lot of people going to be running in the D tree. Like, oh, damn, I can't see. I don't care. I'll be gone. A lot of crickets going to be at your tree. Care. Like, now gone. what, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> now what? Here, smell the inside of that. Ate my that uncle. Like two weeks. What is that? You thing. said smell the inside of that That's what oh she said. She God. had it on for two weeks. <laughs> I'm so glad the fans <laughs> smell it. <laughs> oh, my God, D. Don't fuck it up for us at the show, God damn it. She, her, but you, she put it in front of the fans. I know how a hand smell if it's been Cooped soaked up. It's like a cast. When you take a cast off. Anyway. Now you got to boil your hand and... I've been washing it. Yeah. <laughs> I got I to gotta let it breathe. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a break now. You want to take a break now before you open your gifts that somebody sent you? Oh, or? I forgot. You want to open, you want them, open now? them now? Or, or you want to open them later? What do you think? I think we should we open got two. Them. You got two gifts. I said we take a break okay. because I think something going on with the internet. Is, oh, is well, there we go. With the internet? No, no, no. We're, we're back. We're good. Oh, good. Well, yeah. then it's on you. Come back? Yeah, we're going to come back because I ain't even had a chance to congratulate my man Floyd. Oh, that's right. Doing the motherfucking do. You want to get into that when we get back? Yeah. We'll All right. Well, we there we back. go. We'll be back. We'll be back, motherfuckers. Wash your ass.
Ugh. All right. <laughs> what, the, what was that? Let's just say um, <laughs> I'm lighter. You're lighter? Yeah, I'm lighter. Oh, we went to the bathroom. Ugh. Let's Dropped off a up. couple of burritos. It was a good, quick, effective shit. <laughs> All right, let's move on. What we got here now, guys? The water splashed oh, on my God, ass. I tried. Huh? The water, you know, when you hit the... Fuck it. Yes, please. Let's change the subject. I shit in the urinal sometimes just to Why? give people a target. At Target? Oh, thank God. You didn't do target. it here. I wonder how long it takes to dissolve <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, God. With piss. What? <laughs> with just pee-pee? Just well, there's all those acids in it, so it would probably kill it off quick, unless it's yeah. really solid. Are you constipated? No. Pee is effective on snow, no. too. He said no. I also saw a spider, uh, you know, little spider webs is up there. He was wrapping this bug up in the cocoon. That's what took so long. He was watching that happen. It was in the interesting. Bathroom? It was like a ladybug or something. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the video. I told of that the spider, you lucky that, that the NFL will give you day. six games for that. That's a ladybug. Oh shit. No. <laughs> no. All right. Bye. Anyway, all right. So <laughs> he what don't we even got know here? What we talk about. I do know. What is this? What is this shit? Okay, so you know how sometimes we get things from people. It's really nice. This is nice because Zoe knows who this is, right? Yes. Young lady. Young lady. She has hair? Yes. What does that have to do with anything? She has a company called UniquelyWiredM.com. And it. it, it, UniquelyWiredM.com. And it says on the card where art lives. She, Where Art lives. This how do you be properly pronounce shit. her name, the founder? Because I can't. I don't want to say her name. Plug. Her name is Mashari. Mashari Wale. That means she got hair on her mouth. I don't know a Mashari that ain't got hair. Anyway, on her mouth. she no, sent she, this. She creates uh, copper jewelry. Copper. copper is good for you. Yes, with put crystals it, yeah, they put and it in wraps and stuff, and people. Can, yes. yes. Oh wow! It's all yeah, like yeah, some so energetic, energetic, spiritual. Right. So oh, she actually added she notes. She made you some stuff. So Corey, Mimi, Darlene, say Give Corey his she package. Put, wait, she I also see. we need this whole thing in here. She also put a sage and santo stick in for cleaning your jewelry. That's for sage clen- for cleansing. Yeah, and man, santo, this is some spiritual said. stuff. Spiritual shit comes and out of sage. And each person is is uh, given you the run g- demons out your house with spirit with really? sage. Here's yours, Corey. I don't know what it says. You go what ahead. What is it? Whatever this she is yours. You. I don't know. And it's look for you. Look all that. Open it. Here's mine. Mine says, "Darling, we love you." Oh, that's sweet. Here's a gift of a beaded copper cuff Open and it. ring. Much Let's love, Mashari. I am. To Corey H., we love your show and want to send you some love through our homemade Whoa. wearable art. Yes. Look how beautiful. I told you. What is that? Is that? She made it. It's handmade. Oh, my God. Turn this motherfucker's chair over, right? <laughs> you booted. <laughs> you didn't get the part on that one. Yeah, that was, that's beautiful. Yeah, she oh, got some more. She oh, made you a big. ring? Oh, it's for your... Could be a cock ring. I don't know. No, that ain't no cock ring. Okay, I'm just saying. Well, it's too big for yeah. look. <laughs> look, I'm gonna fit on my fingers. Yeah. Anyway, so it uh, fit I like this hand? one. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. You know, maybe that'll fit on Cricket my thumb. Cricket tenderizer and ring. And that'll help heal. Let's see oh. yours. Why y'all want to see mine? Um. I want to know what this stone is. In oh, that's room. mine. Oh, dang it! That was gorgeous. Are you serious? Yeah, that's the oh one she sent God, me. Oh my God, that is fucking. Dope. No, we need to hang this around your back where that hurts. Really? Right. P- could yeah, suck all the. It's copper. Corey. The pudding yeah. out your back. <laughs> the pudding. <laughs> no, I, I like it. Let me see mine. Anyway, so yeah, so thank you. It says something about okay. cancer on yeah. here. Yeah. The cancer, June. What is it? She put your little June zodiac. June 22nd through July something. Shit, I don't know nothing about this shit. Let's see yours, D. Oh, that's beautiful with a magic ring. Look at that. Ow, ow, ow. I need it on my bad hand. Don't put uh, it on. Uh, don't put it on your bad uh, wrist. Stuck. Can't get it around that fat ass wrist. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all Damn be talking ass. shit about me. Look. You got them motherfucking oh, Popeye that's nice. ass wrist and shit. No, I don't. My wrists are Uniquely really wired M dot com. That's nice. Thank Look you, Shari. It's okay. beautiful. Let's see what this shit is. 
I'm gonna kill all the bad juju around his chair. Did she give uh -oh. me a motherfucker? How you gonna give me a bracelet? Yeah, it might not get around your wrist. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. It's got a oh, cross on that's it. That's actually Stop. nice. That's got a cross. That's healing properties right there. Those stones. And you oh, this is a cross? It. Yes. Bruh, you got to read what kind of stone it is and you what it does. Care. You don't know. You know fucking hide you. you don't I don't know. know. Oh, my gosh. No, she just sent it How to you him. How you get a necklace? Nigga? Look, she sent the whole package well, you, to you, you want the necklace? Here it is. See the Hell necklace? yeah. No, you so can't cute. have my necklace. Super <laughs> I ain't so, nigga. Anyway, thank you so much. Because the stone is specifically for thank me. Thank you. Thank you. That's beautiful. Oh, look at that shit. I had to bend this motherfucker. This is my cross, god damn it. Joe Osteen, let me in your church, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> the fuck out of here. I got the symbol. It's beautiful. Thank you, I'm Mishari. going fishing with this shit. You know that, right? <laughs> Thank you, Mishari. Thank you. We That's appreciate right. it. Beautiful. And then. Okay, go ahead. The homie. What the fuck I'm going to do with this? Read what kind oh. of stone it is. Oh, it's a stone? Look, he don't give a fuck. Uh. It says. Corey, this is the Koi Stone. It keeps <laughs> it keeps the bullshit up. That's why. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. This is very nice. We really appreciate this. Other good, the, uh, good stones for those born under the sign of cancer. And then she named the stones. The one she actually picked out for you is called a Labradorite. Uh huh. Like a like a dog, Labrador. That's what this is beautiful. Say. Do the bark. Thank you. <laughs> She's like a Labrador. Uh oh. The bark. He can't. He's not feeling. A that. Labrador. Oh, he can't. Oh. I'm like old girl on Indiana uh -oh. Temple of Joe Temple of Doom, where he was like, he was like, eat the food. They haven't eaten this much food in a week. Oh, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> he can't do the. Dog. I'm sorry. I'm no, not good with gifts. This is He's beautiful. Not. I'm sure a lot. What of, about this gift? A lot of effort was put them. into this. That's right. And Hell yeah. I appreciate you thinking about me. Um, Mashari. What is it again? Mashari. Mashari. Thank you for this bullshit. God dang it, he didn't mean that. He's always joking. All right, so the next God thing is a, actually a gift from. This is it. <laughs> oh, this is a this And he is a wanted gift. you to open it on air. Of course, that's the motherfucker. He can get it like that. That's this right. Is, this is the gift y'all told me from David Banner, right? Yep. yep. Okay, well, what the fuck is it? God damn it, it's a big ass box. It's a note right here. It says, I would like you to. I would like to personally thank you for supporting me in the God Box. Yeah. yeah. This is a token of our appreciation. I just ask one thing. Uh-oh. Please open the box for the first time on Ooh. social media. The God Ooh. Box, David Banner likes picture. Okay. Please tell your fans to purchase the God Box. Of course. So right there. We, oh, that's dope. You got to see what's in it, though. Hold this on, that's dope. With, hey, he... Look, it says it's special, boy. The God Binox, the nigga. That's dope. Why my shit open and yours ain't? Put it down. You gotta open it up. You went through my shit. <laughs> you ain't <laughs> shit. This is my box. Why my box was open? <laughs> we opened together. You <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> That's he illegal. Had, no, I gave him a knife and he opened it, but we didn't open the box up. So there. My box was open, no, motherfucker. This box wasn't open. Ooh, oh, oh, that go David with his hair. I'm going to grow my hair back yeah, like that. Grow it back. It makes you look younger. This is actually it's some cold wow. shit, ain't it? I like it? this. And so is this like a limited edition? Look, he got you a shirt. CD and CD, shirt. But wow. there's more shit in there, man. No way. The God Box CD. He signed it? Look, signed look, look, look. it to you. That's dope, man. Because see, let me tell you something. You know how some motherfuckers have CDs, but they don't be shit? David should be that. bumping. Yeah, and but look at look at the whole presentation. This is dope. What size is your shirt? X large? Uh oh. Mine is pro yeah, XL. Let me see what you did, David. Even though David, your shirt off in this picture, Nick. It is not, is it? <laughs> right there. No, but that's not on the shirt. That's a pin. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dave. He got me a he got me a three X shirt. Mixtapes in here. Mm. Now, David, no, man. When, I, when I'm in a town or I'm around oh, a that. town where book? he's going to perform. That book? It's a DVD. What he gave that? you Tariq's Hidden Colors. Oh, that's oh, dope. Hidden Colors 3. 
another movie called Black Friday. What legacy are you building? And then the broader files. Mm. Very heavy. What's book. this? I so think it's I like got a whole box. Oh, yeah. oh wow! Then, you you got one of these too? Yeah. Oh shit! Open it. It's a banner. I oh. thought. Dave, I thought you gave me something you ain't get up. This is the God Box. This is a special it's, it's edition. A complete... Only special people get oh, it. Oh, this is dope. That is sick, right? Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Yours is upside down, so there you go. I got you. <laughs> no. Oh, we hanging this up. <laughs> this shit got to hang up in here somewhere, right? That's nice. That's here. my man, Dave. Okay. Man. Don't hang it over the shit now. <laughs> don't oh, hang it over the shit now. We're going to put it oh, up there for next week. starting to sound like Bobby. Thank don't God. hang it over the shit now. I thought I was helping, but now he's like, don't. <laughs> Stop. Wait. I can't. We I can't. Don't he don't hang it over the shit now. Oh, my God. Don't fuck up now. He did. He's not looking at me. <laughs> you're gonna fuck up the whole store now you know? <laughs> shit now that was helping. Okay. watch what the fuck you're doing now <laughs> <laughs> shit. God damn. I'm working I'm working at, I'm working at the West Palm Beach Improv this week I'm gonna wear this shirt nice special edition man wow that's okay. dope man he been sending them out to just people that are you know in, in out there doing the work especially those that you know uh, are in alignment with, with his movement, and he was like, "Man, let me send this to, uh, to Corey Holcomb and Zoe Williams." Mm -hmm. We appreciate you, Dave. Keep doing great work, man. Dave, we appreciate it, man. That was keep very going out there kind. doing your thing. Dave is a good nigga. That yes, motherfucker he is. shake everybody hand to come see him. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I seen that and with personally. Enthusiasm. It ain't like he just yeah. He be like he happy to see you. Thanks mm -hmm. for coming to see me for real. I mean, no, but you know what? I ain't gonna lie. I used to do that. I used to. I used to. I literally used to just stand outside the club, shake everybody's hand as they coming out. I, I've seen but you do that. Too many motherfuckers fucking with me, make it hard for me to do that. Cause I'd be in a good mood and did some motherfucker be like, "Hey, who's your G? Or remember the nigga in, in, in Phoenix? Oh no, that it was one in Phoenix. Yes. Too much. That he was too much. Though. Yeah, it was one in Phoenix. I remember him. It's, it's, it's like when you do that, but Dave ain't. But Dave ain't by himself. Now see, you got people that know exactly how to control certain people for you. And I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna start have to having a motherfucker with me to, to do shit. And can peep stuff out, not just that, not do stuff shit. that can understand. I right. can't argue with motherfuckers no more. <laughs> right. Stop playing with me, man. Hi. Now get the fuck on. Cause you don't know how to talk to motherfuckers. You don't know how to be cool. You trying me, homie. Get your you hands shake. You ain't speak. A man with respect. Knows how to speak to people respectively. Right. And it's so sad because most of the time they are under the influence. It don't matter if you're under the influence. If you are a that disrespectful motherfucker worse. who they try motherfuckers, yeah. that's what you're going to do. Yeah. yeah. And after you get the shit slapped out of you, what do you do? You go to court. Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. that's the only thing you can do. Yeah. Go to court. We got the new shirts. I'm going to wait till afterwards. No, we can talk about the shit. We are very happy for the overwhelming response to our NFL shirt. The first version. This is the second edition. Fuck the NFL shirts. We got a new edition because the other one's almost sold out. Yeah, them motherfuckers gone. I put everybody's name up. The in black the, in ones? The yeah. Them motherfuckers I mean, gone. it's. So we got the Army Green ones. Fall edition. If you go on the site. Oh, that's tight. They match the new Jordans. They got some new Jordans that come out look like this. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck the NFL. Speaking of that. Speak on it. I really haven't been watching. Uh -oh. I have, I I have been like, because, you know, it's, it's almost like natural just to have a game on. Right. Even if you ain't doing shit. Right. Mm -hmm. Football time, game is on. Mm -hmm. I like to see the brothers and their athleticism as they display it, but. I'm really turned off by the shit. It, it makes me, it makes my stomach turn even more than my stomach already has been turning. Hmm. To know that these motherfucking cocky, wicked owners, or whatever you want to call them. Cocky is a mm -hmm. great Yeah. They're like, what the fuck they going to do? Anybody, uh, uh, you know, kneels or sits down during the national anthem is off my team. You cocky as fuck to say that. In a league that's seventy percent black, 
but you're confident in the fact that those black people are fragmented. Those black men are fragmented. You got some that are afraid. You got some that are quote unquote patriots. So you know they not standing together. And that's where your confidence comes from. But if those if that 70% didn't play didn't play, you'd be out of business. Week one. Week one. It would put a dent in their shit because they're already rich. But they are so used to having this money like they want it. Mm-hmm. Them motherfuckers will do something about what the fuck is the problem oh, right yeah, now. Oh, yeah, they fix it. Not mm-hmm. because they, 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 well, they can't fix it because you've shown who you are, just like Joel Olstein. You, we know who you are. Right. But I could deal with a motherfucker that don't give a fuck about me because if I'm around you, it's because I'm getting something out of you. Right. So right. we need to find a way to make these motherfuckers recognize what it is. Right. And I'm just saying, it is, you know, basketball is not on. Right. It's not easy for me to turn away from the game because I'm a guy and I've been watching the games, watching the brothers go out there and do their thing. Right. But I, I, I fuck the NFL. Fuck you motherfuckers. Y'all motherfuckers ran my brother up out this motherfucking league and now he is bigger than a lot of motherfuckers who playing in the league. And I know y'all like, oh, well, he ain't getting no paycheck and all that shit. Doors going to open for him, and I feel like he know doors going to open for him because right. it, he's the type of brother that I wouldn't mind having working for me. Right. Solid dude. Mm-hmm. And it takes- if I feel that way, it's got to be somebody out there who doing big things who like, well, shit, come work for me, brother. Or come work with me. Or come work with me. Because he mm-hmm. brings a lot to the table. I love it. Well put. Yeah. Yeah. So, what I am saying, we really need to try to put a dent in what they're doing. And the people who play in the NFL, you can help us tremendously. Right. But as far as it goes with me, I'm not voluntarily turning it on in my house. Like right. when I was working at the comedy club in uh, Nyack, New York last week, they had the game on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I watched it a little bit. Because it's on. It's on. But me and my support, can't fuck with you. Right. Can't fuck with you. Even though if I did support, it would be to buy a jersey, uh, my man, the running back in Oakland. Oh, Marshawn. I'll buy Marshawn Lynch jersey. You bring up an interesting point. Mm -hmm. Because the boycott doesn't necessarily just have to be television. There are multiple ways to boycott. The, you can boycott the sponsors. the sponsors, everybody who buy commercial ads, mm-hmm. like you just said. The, Attending. You stop buying the merchandise. Yeah. Oh, their you tickets. You stop buying the tickets. Yep. They could get hurt in multiple ways. And then the players, mm-hmm. 70% African American, if they just agreed to just say, we're not going to do it. And then on the other side of it, you see a few sprinklings of the white players. Imagine if the white players wow, stood in solidarity. Yes. Now you cripple the NFL, and mm-hmm. they are forced to make a change. You know if Tom Brady is watching this right now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I'm just saying, it's like we owe it to what's right to – have the courage to say I can't fuck with that. Right. I can't fuck with that. And it's all kinds of things in America that needs to be boycotted. But I'm picking my battle and I don't like the way they did my brother. Mm-hmm. Did him wrong. I don't yeah. like that. I, and I, I'm an NBA guy so I watch who mm-hmm. most of the time. And I like college football a lot. Uh, back in the 90s I was a huge Niner fan, but they've been terrible for a long time. So I've kind of, kind of dialed. They weren't terrible out. when Kaepernick was the quarterback, and he no, had a motherfucker. Yeah, got him to the Super Bowl. Core. I was watching during that little that little stint when he had started a with Mike core. Singletary. Yeah, mm-hmm. who who job he took? Who a motherfucker who started for the Kansas City Chiefs? Who was that? Oh, Alex, Alex Smith. Smith. Yeah, yeah. Alex was terrible at at when he was with the Niners because they know that he was limited. 
Mm. He was limited ability wise. Yeah, the Kansas City Chiefs can only go so far with him playing quarterback. Right. He's he's a tick better than Trent Dilfer was. Right. He's a he's a game manager. Yeah. He's not a lead you down the field quarterback. No. Yeah, Kaepernick a, led them boys not only down the field. Yeah. To and, the motherfucking Super Bowl. And then if the play broke down, he could use his legs. Mm-hmm. Now he had a lot of talent on that team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He had talent on that team that uh, uh, Mike Singletary. He put that defense established. Together. Yeah, Mike Singletary established that team. Yeah, Harbaugh got the glory for the team. Well, he couldn't wait to motherfucking get rid of Alex Smith. And Kaepernick took that spot, right? Because yeah. Kaepernick came in and did the same thing Tom Brady did. Well. But he's a brother, so he's not gonna get the red carpet. Exactly. Like Tom and Brady is going to get. And there's still, if you think about it, there's still not a lot of brothers doing it. Doing what? Taking the knee. Not, in, you know, that, that well, are Well, people playing. are scared to take the knee. I scared noticed that. To lose the- uh, They'll sit on the bench. They'll throw their fist up. During the Seattle Seahawks' uh, first preseason game, he was the only one. Of the entire team, right. this past, I and mean, he said, but that he said Kaepernick's my friend. But it's not even just about this; it's for why he did it, yeah. why he started it. Yeah, but see, not you know, n- not dealing with why he knelt, right, is the reason, you know, that they could t- you know make it. Oh, it's about the anthem, and you talking about the anthem and all Come this other man. shit, but you're still not addressing why he knelt, why he knelt down in the first place, right? So you want to make it about some other shit. You want to connect that. It's all about the anthem. It's, He's disrespecting. What happened to the chat room? What do you mean? It's frozen? Are we getting the chat room back? Oh, it's, she just has to refresh it. No, no, no. It's you stream, you stream, you stream. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, it's, it's not moving. Speaking of football. Mm-hmm. Oh, what hell. What the fuck is Jim Brown talking about? He went back on and ran again. What happened? I missed it. You guys don't have to uh, update me. I Let me tell you something, man. This is one of the hardest brothers to knock. We love him. He's but a- why you love him? I love him because I know what he has done right. for yeah. other yeah. people in the community. People in the hood. Yeah. But what the fuck is he going through? America I'm bold can. enough to say it. Fuck it. Okay, what happened? Because I'm serious. I have not. The man has a life skills curriculum that teaches inner city youth. <sighs> in particular, oh, young don't. men. Okay, wait a second. What happened? Okay. Jim Brown says Kaepernick should not be disrespecting the flag. He said either be a football player or be an activist. You can't do both. They contradict each other. He says kneeling and what he did is disrespect to the flag. Yeah. See, he what says, I'm an American. You never denigrate the flag. You never denigrate the, the But see, there, and, 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 and even Jim Brown is taken, like you said, how all these other people are, they're grabbing onto the wrong thing instead of saying, okay, he's using that time, the platform, that moment, that heavy-duty moment to take his stance on something else. It has nothing to do with. They're, I'm they're, bold enough oh, to say this sucks. shit. That sucks. That's messed up. And I, Where did if he it, say if it? If it burns. On a show? It was, it's, it, people, they was talking about this on um, – no, on, I'm saying, was he, undisputed. Actually, was he on yeah. the show saying it? Oh, or did they Shannon, catch him walking Shannon around? went in. When yeah. did he bring it up? I love mm-hmm. Shannon Sharp, man. He As he pulled no ass. punches. No, 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 I'm saying, like, you know, people get caught walking around outside, or was he on a show? Like, how did they, how did he, where did he say it? Jim Brown. Um, I'm not sure where no. he said it, but it's documented exactly what he said. Um, it's documented. Um, hey, Frank. Can you pull up the quote okay. that Jim Brown said? They they said it on um, Undisputed. Another thing, people, stop telling me what Stephen A. Smith said. I don't watch that show, and I will not watch that show. Mm-hmm. I don't watch First Take. I don't give a fuck what Stephen A. Smith says or does. I'm glad I didn't run into him when I was in Vegas because I wouldn't want him to walk up to me and say nothing to me because I, 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 don't, place, I don't like you. I feel like... You are bad for the black community, Stephen A. Smith. So I'm, I'm just saying. Mm. I don't want to smile and be phony when I see him. Just like if I met Barack Obama, it would be awkward for me. Like if he was like, Corey, I'd be like. Mr. Holcomb. Look, dude, I don't fuck with you. Please don't bring no drama my way. 
I know what you do. You know what I'm saying? Not like I'm worried about Stephen Smith bringing drama my way. Uh, I saw the little thing when he was on air with the little Jabberwocky thing where they let him do something with the Jabberwockies and his forehead was sticking out that, you know how the mask be right here? Oh, God. No. He looked like Mr. Warp. So, hmm. but here it is. Well, you got the quote? Oh, he. Yeah, I got the everything he said. Here. What's the quote? Uh, Jim Brown on Colin Kaepernick. I don't desecrate my flag and my national anthem. Uh, you want me to read more? Well, I mean, that, that, a lot is said right there. That's it. He said, uh, Jim Brown became active in the civil rights movement even before his retirement. Although the Cleveland Browns legend said he'd never desecrate the flag or the Star Spangled Banner as he claims Colin Kaepernick did last year. Why? Technically, he did not desecrate or disrespect the flag. I know you don't follow uh, Stephen A. Smith, but Stephen A. Smith is actually on, on the same side you are on this one. Because he pointed that out as well. He said he did not disrespect the flag. Yeah. He didn't do anything disrespectful toward the flag. He just didn't stand. Stephen A. Smith is fucking jumping sides. I remember what he said about Colin Kaepernick. So it don't matter what you your opinion of what he did, Stephen A. Smith. You are ass-kissing, boot-licking nigga. When I see you, you are ass-kissing, boot-licking-ass nigga. Now, now, this is from U.S. Quote it. Corey Holcomb said it. All you bitch ass niggas who got your own look, YouTube Corey Holcomb said this page is quote that, you bitch ass niggas. Is that the name of the page? That I'm just saying it's so many, know what it's so many bitch ass niggas with their own little news, with them <laughs> comedy hype motherfuckers, all that bullshit. Your soft ass don't know how to talk about the facts. You say everything's safe down the middle, comedy hype, you bitch ass niggas. Mm. Nobody motherfucker. I don't need your motherfucking help. I'm this Corey hype, motherfucker. I speak the real. And if you ain't going to speak it like me, I feel disrespected when you tiptoe around what I said, motherfucker. Bitch ass, comedy hype, and all them. It's so many motherfuckers that. Right, motherfucker. Want me to get them. I'm like, news. This is the news. Today, um, Corey Holcomb said this about the feud he had with so and so and all this shit. Shut your bitch ass up. What you say? Where your bitch at? Why your kids don't listen to you or got no respect for you? That's Whoever you are, motherfucker. Talk about that. I didn't see none of this. What? what, what Man, there's so many. I don't see it normally, but every once in a while, Somebody like to you, a YouTube page will pop up from when I look at something else. And I'll be like, what the fuck is this? What's your hmm. name? Right. And then I'll see it. I'll be like, look at this bitch ass motherfucker right here. Don't even know how to tell a story correctly. It's mm. their opinion of who I am. And I'll be like, wow, these motherfuckers is bitches. Wow. But that's how they get, like, act like they have a show of their own by using other people's clips. And from give, and give well, views. And, well, and what they that. do, they, this is what's really frustrating, the way they come with their opinion of what happened. Mm. It's not even the facts. Mm. They just come with their opinion of what happened. Or, like, the headline will be like, um, Corey goes off on so and so, so and so. Clickbait, yeah. Like I'm going off on a motherfucker. I'm going off okay. on you, bitch ass motherfucker. And everybody who I talk crazy about, I say it when I see him. I think Stephen A. is a fucking coon. So I think I'm reading from the USA Today. But let's get back on this real shit, this uh, Jim Brown shit, because it's a problem. Here, want me to tell you why it's a problem? Why? Because Jim Brown had done too much solid shit. Yeah. I'm talking about solid. Yeah. Shit. So when I, I see him saying what he say nowadays, I know I know life done caught up with him in that situation he in because he in a bad situation. Mm. I know that I know about the bad situation, uh, not factually, but Bobby tell all your business. <gasps> I don't give a fuck if he get mad. If Bobby know your business, he gonna tell you business. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who get mad about whatever. If that nigga know your business, he gonna tell you business. He don't give, I don't give a fuck if he Somebody if, if you if you his dear friend, what he see, he gonna repeat. Mm, 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 mm. Why y'all looking like that? Let me tell you why you looking like that. Cause you know it's true. <laughs> what? So I think somebody say Jim Brown broke. I don't think Jim Brown mm. broke. Mm. Jim Brown ain't broke. What it is, 
what it is, Jim Brown is surrounded by um, key players that are not really down with him now. As you get older, as you get older, you start to you start to get exposed by the predators. My mother has to come down here and live with me because my sister is an ain't shit bitch and her kids ain't shit hmm. and they older now. So my that's their, my that's sister's child is one of them people who be out there with the baby, her and her man, begging for money, talking about the baby can't eat. <gasps> one of them motherfuckers. Gypsy in it? Yeah, mm. what they call a gypsy? Well, the gypsies be out there yeah. big time doing that. Yeah, and they all, my mama's, my mama's wow. little apartment, that's headquarters where everybody come hang out and run through the refrigerator oh, and all that no. shit. And I'm out here in California. So I got to go get my mama Damn. because she's older and the motherfuckers around her are using her. Mm-hmm. If something happened to her, she died, they're going to find another motherfucker to lay up off and use. Mm. I believe my brother Jim Brown is around users and ain't nobody to come grab him and cuff him and make sure he is on point because we know what he did when he was at an age where he was young and a motherfucking soldier. You see what I'm saying? When he was a soldier, Jim Brown did amazing things for other people. And still and, did and as I would he say, got older. And still did I, as he got right, older. Right. I would say still, I, I think he just made a mistake. I, I don't think he made a mistake. I, I'll say it this way. I, I think he old and beat down now. I'm sorry, I ain't trying to talk over you. No, it's just, this is what happens in life. Mm-hmm. When you are not around the right motherfuckers to keep you on your square. Right. The square that you naturally around. When you around motherfuckers that ain't shit, all of a sudden, you start doing ain't shit shit because you finally have been beaten into the point where you do sucker shit. Right. Age will do that to you. So you're right. saying that this is really not his true self. No, I'm saying as he has gotten older, the decisions he made and the people around him have become part of his demise. Mm. Because if you got a man who is bold enough to pull together the top athletes and speak up against the inequality that's happened against brothers and sisters, you know how this man think. Right. You know what he about, you but now he's older and he's standing up for Trump. He's standing up for the flag. Where you at, my brother? What happened? What happened to you, brother? I can't never shit on Jim Brown. Right. He, what he did so far deserves respect. Off tops. You see still, what I'm saying? Yeah. Still, yeah. even after what he said, still the man deserves respect. The only thing I would say is, man, you never see Jews arguing about their problems in public. If they got issues, they not airing each other out in public. All I'm saying is, if you don't agree with Colin's approach, as the elder, you got the right to call on Colin and pull him to the side behind closed doors. You think Colin wouldn't accept an invite to go sit with the great Jim Brown? Yeah. Of -hmm. course he would. Mm -hmm. He would Mm -hmm. sit down and be like, okay, what's happening? That's what Farrakhan does. I'm I'm talking about. He has those sit downs at his house. That's what he does. Jim Brown and Farrakhan are cool. But none of those people agree. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? But he'll still have you in his house. Jim Brown and Farrakhan are friends. Yeah, Yeah, of course. Um, He can be friends. I know this because. I was up Jim Brown's house, and he showed me pictures when Farrakhan be over there. Like, you know what I'm saying? They want, they Jim Brown spoke to my son thanks to Bobby. Yeah, I, Bobby took me up to Jim Brown's house, and Jim Brown, I, I know this a good brother. I know this a good brother. Solid. But what he going through right now, Who know, cause it's this is deep. only my opinion. I know, I know. This is the motherfuckers around you, Jim. You ain't on your shit. You older. I know what happened when you get older because I'm – Still in my 40s, and shit happens to my mind that make me go, mm-hmm. what the fuck? So I can imagine what it's like if you Jim Brown age. Right, 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 right. right. People and you, take advantage and, of and, you. Right, and your, and your circle. Yeah, and the only reason I know a little bit about his circle is because of Bobby. 
And I need to put Bobby on the spot because Bobby, that's Bobby's dear friend, right? Mm. You see what I'm saying? Right. He helped Bobby but tremendously. Do you see Bobby that? ain't never shitted on Jim Brown to me, but I get what you Bobby saying, talks right? about what he sees. He can't help it. He's the type of person, if he sees some shit, he going to speak on it. I got a homeboy like that. I done had him on the show. Maranzio. Maranzio. Maranzio, if he know your business, he going to talk about it. I had Maranzio up my house. But I had to slow it down a little bit. Because <laughs> so little punk-ass comics in the street knew a little bit about my business. And I'm like, oh, that ain't came nowhere. But from Maranzio. <laughs> So when I see Maranzio, am I mad? No. no, because I know you you a run your mouth nigga. So now you I know gotta, people like that. Now I got to limit people your that, access. Everything yeah, they, they know, know they, they can't help right. it. You know I was yeah. at Corey House, goddamn it, and he slapped the shit out the dog. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's <laughs> or something, something like right, that. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that I'm that please don't nobody go around. Hey, comedy hype, don't go around saying <laughs> Corey says Bobby talks shit about somebody. Bobby ain't never talked shit about no. that man. But Bobby can't keep his mouth closed about what well, happens. He cherishes it. About right, shit he sees. Right. But here's the thing. Back to listening. And that ain't that ain't the end of the world. It's just I call it out. No, just let me go back to this. When you said brought the whole thing up about your mom, I mean, you, you think about it. Because I have family. And, and, and thank God we have sons and uncles and people with strength that'll step in. But I can see where if you don't have, like, uh, uh, you know, sons or strong sons or brothers or even a dad still around, you can get taken advantage of being an older person. You don't have somebody to, like, uh, see, stand, stand up for you. Man, well, like, he's a senior. How old is he? Who? Jim Brown. Uh, oh, he's in his 80s. Is he 80-something? I'm sure he's in his 80s. If he's 80s, I don't know. On, but he's now. in his 70s. Let's look it and up. And I'm here to tell you, when you're in your 70s and you ain't in the belt, you, fuck it, if you're in your 70s and you ain't no vegan. <laughs> you know what? But you see, you're helping you, your mom out. She it, has you. It's a struggle. Imagine she didn't have you. Yeah, I got to go grab her, but see, I'm always gone. We don't know nobody in California. Jim Brown is uh, 81. God, Jesus. Jim Brown is 81. What? So listen, listen what I'm saying. I want to say this to everybody that looks at what Jim Brown says and reacts off that. All you got to do, what's your shit? Check the pedigree? Yep. This, Check his pedigree. This man did solid shit. shit. For uh, ever, even to recently. George Foreman got rich because of motherfucker Jim Brown. That's true. You know how many uh, Jim Brown ran Richard own? Pryor's movie company. He ran it, yeah. That's how solid he was. Solid. Even, even even Richard Pryor was trying to make a joke about the shit when he was getting high. Yeah. Jim Brown like, what you, what gonna, you gonna do? do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. He the big homie. Yes. yes. Jim Brown done had the streets in his house all the time. I trying to motherfucker get them from killing each other. All so when time. you think about Jim Brown, trust yeah. me, Pat. this shit right here. You have to be like, well, what's wrong with my brother? Yeah, hold you get up. what yeah. I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't right. That ain't the one to flood it. on because he done done shit right. that motherfuckers dream of doing with that money he got. Right. And he ain't the richest motherfucker in the world. You no know what money I'm saying? in time, though. He gives a lot of that up. A lot He's of done it. a lot of gang intervention work. Amer I can, yeah. The Amer I can, life skills. I mean, and we're talking. No, he didn't have them meet up at some spot at downtown his at house. his home. I know this because he lived down the street from it. Hollywood Hills. Yeah, good dude. I mean, like I, I said, I, man, I, 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 I met just him one time, and I saw all through the bullshit. Somebody say something about him hanging some woman out a window or some shit oh, like that. I got, can't I mean, see that. He's got his own whatever. I can't thing. see Everybody that. Everybody got flaws, yeah, so yeah. We, you know. I, look, did, did did you see the bitch hanging out the window? No. I'm betting you, all you do is you just hear a bunch of stuff like that. I can't see it. That ain't me being jaded on his side. Right. I know what bitches do. I know bitches cry wolf. I know bitches say he hit me and I'm going to get my Jewish friends. That's what bitches do. You know what? Oh. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's what bitches do. What time is it? <laughs> well, let's hope that this. Uh, but I'm saying I just, you on know. the Jim Brown side of the game, oh, my God. I still have nothing but respect for him, but I just feel like some things should be said behind closed doors. doors. There you go. And and listen, Michael Jackson, his birthday today, right? Greatest ever. 
but Young Wolves is coming in. So it was at some point, even Mike had to go, okay, the Young Wolves is coming in. Does that mean the Young, the young Lions can't learn from Mike? Hell motherfucking no. Nah. So time puts you in a position to go from the Young Lion to the old mentor. And, and, and Colin Kaepernick is the new Young Lion in the in this civil civil rights issues and and fights or whatever sometimes that old lion need to step and go to the young lion and go hey man let me show you how to do this right. behind closed doors but not in public because go. what you do is put the kibosh on a movement mm-hmm. that's gaining momentum the man was on time magazine so you might not like his approach or what he did but guess what you can mentor him from the sidelines like, yo. It ain't just what he said about this Colin play. Kaepernick. This whole stand behind Trump shit is insane. It's all been recent, too. So well, It's insane. It's, maybe like, it, maybe hey, it bro, is old age. You know what you're doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna, I, I, it ain't my business to say this, but fuck it. I'm Corey Hogan, 5150. But look. Oh, go ahead. Yo, bitch, Uh-oh. who you got around you will drive you crazy. I'm here to tell you. Who around you? Because let me tell you something. When a man got a motherfucking stand-up woman right next to him, it's hard to do shit like it's not stand-up. Wait, because she going to be looking at you like if you if you do if you if critiquing you, got a, you. If yes. you got a solid ass motherfucking She'd woman, like, what kind of weak shit, shit is like, that? Yeah, what, what the fuck? Are who, you okay, dear? Who is this nigga? You know what I'm saying? Right, I get it. This right. is what I want people to recognize. Motherfucker, who got you fucked up like that? And that ain't no excuse for your behavior, but I'm telling you, if you around a motherfucker that ain't got your back, you're going to get beat the fuck down, and you're going to start doing shit to motherfucking uh, 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 reflect being beat down. That's yeah. my take on the shit. All right. Well, listen. You beat down, my dude. I got love for you, but God damn it, just go relax. Take a, take a bath. I hear you, but listen. What up? Thank you for breaking down that whole Jim Brown thing because I didn't even know anything about it. But I still don't know. Listen, <laughs> it's getting late, but I know you wanted to talk about the Mayweather. Speaking of, of course, beat downs, oh yeah, the champ. Happened? You you went out there this weekend. How I was went it? out there this weekend. I thought I was gonna get in the fight and shit. Um, <laughs> I got ghost move, but I ain't and mad. And also said that Sam was he's coming to join stupid. us, and for some reason he's not here. Sam got food poisoning oh, in Vegas. God, I went to go Hershey. visit him in his god room. His room food. smelled like goddamn it, uh, <laughs> gangbanger draws. Oh my lord! So that's why Sam ain't here today. But I want to say congratulations to brother Mayweather Floyd. And it is so funny how the media talk shit about the fight because the motherfucking fighters got paid (laughs) for so many years the motherfuckers in the back got paid the the, what's that fight what's that one fighter who always on espn talking slow not fighter the fight promoter the the older white guy jim lampley damn Uh, white you talking about the one from the UFC? No, this. Oh, oh, oh. But Dana White here, bitch. You mean I remember, the one, the one that Floyd got into it with in yeah. the ring? Not him. He's the he's the announcer. Another envious motherfucker. Wait, what's the other one? But it's a promoter. I can't think of his Bob, name. Bob uh, Arum. Yeah. Bob Arum. Yeah. That's him. They've been getting rich off fighters for years. Well. Fighters are old, broke, and die of broken. From being I'm a broke and die from being beat down in the, the ring. The bound, mm. brown bomber. But in this Larry Merchant, that's another motherfucker who was talking shit about him. Mm-hmm. But in this situation, Floyd, who was in control of his shit, helped Conor McGregor, who wasn't in control of his shit, because the UFC don't pay them like that. Yeah, it was right. pretty comical. Conor McGregor has a nation behind him. Ireland. Ireland is behind. Let me wobble to my car. Conor McGregor. <laughs> right. This motherfucker everybody called dumb. Floyd Mayweather noticed. 40 almost? Is he 40 already? 
He's 40. He's wow. 40. Floyd Mayweather knows that Conor McGregor got a nation behind him. McGregor, let's fight. <laughs> they going to pay to see it. 6.5 million pay-per-view. Even though the motherfucking media realized what they was doing, yeah. tried to hate on it, Floyd said they're going to pay to see us fight. It wasn't no fake fight. McGregor and, and, and Floyd are both warriors. Mm -hmm. They tried to – it wasn't no fake shit in that fight. I watched a little bit of the they fight. I didn't fighting. see no fake shit. But they both knew at the end of the day – both First of all, of let here. me talk about McGregor. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. At the end of the day, all the money you ever made in the UFC, you finna double it. You finna quadruple it. You finna double it. Even though you still got to get Dana White, uh, 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 what was it, uh, a big lick oh, out of yeah, his yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 he had to give him a piece. I'm finna nice make piece. it where you gonna really have enough money to front. I know this is what Floyd told the man. Mm. You can get paid. Finally, because I know what the UFC, the UFC got you where you got a nice car and a house you paying on. Right. Unless you buy it in one of these little states this where there ain't no money. This fight put you in an entirely different tax to, bracket. <laughs> I'm about to get you some real paper. Right. I remember Dana White said they should just split $25 million a apiece. That's what they said. That's what he said. Because that's what they want. And if, and, if, and if Floyd was in that type of position, mm -hmm. you would never hear the media shitting on the fight because it will be one of them fights where the people who they want to get the money is getting the money. Right. Mm -hmm. But in this situation, Floyd got paid. He got really paid. And Conor McGregor got paid. So now you see the media calling the fight it's a, a, fraud, a circus. A circus. Or all that. So I say, and this is ESPN, fuck all you motherfucking, especially when they had that woman on there. It's a woman. They gave this bitch an NBA show. I can't think of the name of this bitch, but she got an NBA show where she sit on there and she sit with all the NBA players. This bitch was talking shit about the fight, calling the fight a farce and all this. I'm like, bitch, who are you? De La Hoya called it that too, though. Well, we know he he mad well, Mike, because everybody what, know what he fucked dudes. What are all those memes dudes. they have of Mike Tyson out? What are the, all the memes? Aren't they saying that he he said something too? Well, a lot of guys going to say something. It's just like coming out of Trump Towers. The yeah. media is right there. Waiting on you. To put you on the spot. Look, we need you to make a statement about this. Right. We need you to say this. Right. You want you you still want to be part of our community? You want those favors when they pop up? Oh, this is said, what we need from you. Uh, what is her name? Michelle Beadle. Is Be it Michelle? Oh, Michelle Beadle. That sounds is, about is that, right. Yeah, it? no, that sounds correct. Or they say Rachel Nichols. The jump, Rachel right? Nichols. I think that's it. The bitch with the, the the bitch with the NBA show. Anyway, they was talking shit about the fight like it wasn't nothing. But didn't the fight do record numbers? Record numbers. Oh my god, it did it ever? Bigger than the Pacquiao fight. The point I'm trying to make. Oh. They hate when a motherfucker get paid. The promoters didn't get paid. Aram and all them motherfuckers. They didn't make money. So they had a minions talk shit about the fight. I don't give a fuck. The streets was in Vegas this weekend I know just to sick. support the Ice Cube three on three shit. Yeah. That shit's lit. And the motherfucking fight. Because when it all boiled down to it, motherfuckers with the ability to travel and do shit like that. Mm -hmm. We all meet up and shit like that, and, and, and it's the kicking spot. This is what we kicking it this weekend. Ice Cube got the three on three. Floyd about to fight. All that hate. We partying all night. It's gonna be turned up the whole time. Bitches naked. This is what I. This is what I also want to say. Ugly bitches and broke hater dudes should not be allowed in certain nightclubs, um, events. They just start shit. Ugly bitches. Hate the world. I'm just here to tell you. When they walk and you see the... What the fuck is that? You water. spraying in your head. Water? It's water. Jesus. I thought I smelled something. No. Uh, oh, that hand out with the fan. <laughs> hey, man, it was so many motherfuckers. Dead? It was so many altercations. And when I looked at the, all the altercations... It was ugly women. It was ugly bitches. Half naked. Fuck half naked. Them bitches they was naked out there. I saw some pictures of people in there. I was like, whoa. <laughs>
I mean, I used to dress a particular way when I was younger. The homegirl told me. I was with my man. Man, we went in this club. <laughs> motherfuckers got into fights. And they were shooting in the club. Oh, wow. Oh, I Lord, said, no, I shouldn't have been what? cheap. I should have just paid to go to the fight if this was going to happen. You know what Damn. I'm saying? Stay out of the way. Went walking through the, the hotels. Club. Walking through the hotels. I, I, I'm bold enough to say this, too. I want to say to my sisters who sell pussy. <sighs> Some of y'all be looking tacky than a motherfucker. It's obvious you sell pussy. Yo... Let me tell you something about dirty feet. Black Aww. feet at the bottom with flip-flops on. Listen, you are taking your sales to a level mm. where more than $20 is a slap in the face. Because your feet black at the bottom, bitch. Where are you walking? Vegas ain't even that dirty, bitch. You come from somewhere else. You can walk in the motherfucking parking lot in Vegas and it ain't even that dirty. <laughs> How your foot get that black, bitch? Tacky Aww. bitches everywhere. The clean bitches, you know the motherfuckers who obviously work, got a job. You could tell. Mm-hmm. The tack head bitches, oh, my God. I was embarrassed for you. I was like, bitch, you can't come out looking like that. You look obviously pleased by this pussy ish. Uh, I want to show it again. pleased by this pussy ish. Pussy ish. That's what they look like. They look obvious like. I mean, I, I walk past these girls and uh, filthy they, feet. They, they, they. I think they was under the impression that I liked them, mm-hmm. cause I was looking. Because the girl had on the, you know, they got the silk shit now, oh, I the see through shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I couldn't help but look, and they walked up to me. They said, "Buy some drinks." Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. And Uh-oh. I was like, not to him, not to this one. Oh, I God. was just like, oh my God. I just was like, I'm good. And they <laughs> kept moving because they was looking for Vicks. They ain't got time to concentrate yeah, yeah, on me. Yeah, yeah. Right. But they saw me look. I couldn't help but look because oh, pussy so they was didn't basically even out. Know who you were? They just walked up, buy some drinks. Oh, now that you looking, yeah. This ain't but you know drink. what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a motherfucker. <laughs> I had I, the way I was dressed. I looked like I could buy some drinks. Mm-mm, not no. trying to brag. I'm just you saying. Had your gear on? They, they know they what's was, up. Bitches know what's up. Shows. They was looking right. at shows, Corey. But I wanted to say to, to her, like, babe, y'all look dirty. That's what I wanted to say. Y'all look dirty. Not, oh, my God. I can't believe. They the type of people, if security is walking around looking for people to watch. They'll be watching them. The dirtiness amongst them bitches. Like, if them bitches... I wonder, bad. do you need your key card to get in the pool? These yes, are the type yeah, of bitches. You do. Yes, you do. If I saw them in the pool, I would not get in the pool. What well, would happen the to thing, the pool? Corey. If them bitches got in the pool, it would be like when you throw a tire in the pool. All yeah. the dirt and shit go off that motherfucker. That's how dirty these bitches look. <laughs> Somebody say soot sucking toe. God. But, uh, but skillet what, feet. But what's, skillet what's feet. sad is enough <laughs> men or boys, guys, have given them the notion that that's attractive and they don't continue to look like that where they might have a one or two guys are like yeah the what happens Majority when you drunk guys, when you drunk it's a and you just want to fuck something Ew. you will be thirsty enough to Let fuck a down. ratchet nasty you see this bitch is dirty fossil fuel feet Ooh. fossil fuel feet. <laughs> bitches walking around with motherfucking uh uh lipstick like bitch why is your lipstick like you know, the bitch looked like she put the lipstick on and ate a gyro. Yeah, it's all on the outside. Like, bitch, you don't look kept up, bitch. <laughs> Why are you amongst this elite group of people in here looking fucked up like that? And then they'll have a whole crew. What's you know, the crew up? It'd be more than they, they walking in bunches. <laughs> Hard hoofs. <laughs> right. It's good. good. Yeah, somebody say, y'all look dirty. That. Teabag feet. La Brea tar foot. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Remote control for that. Someone said twelve years. Tarto a slave. Asphalt endowed arches. You saw that one? Twelve years what? a slave foot. Twelve years a slave foot. I mean, the foot is what give it away. God. <laughs> that means they had their dress shoes off for the longest time, walking barefoot. A dirty hoe is disgraceful because 
even if you ain't got expensive shit, you can look kept up. Clean, just clean. And when I saw the dirty hoes walking around Vegas, I was embarrassed. For them. Mm. I was embarrassed because it was a lot of my sisters. Mm. I wanted to be like, what are you out here looking like that for? Mm. This is the motherfucker. This is Caesar's Palace, bitch. You and this motherfucker looking like, God damn it, you on a picnic in Haiti. Oh, God, not in Haiti. I couldn't help it. I couldn't think of nothing. I blanked. <laughs> this bitch is walking a dog in the dirt. That's what them bitches look like. They, was, they, they walk dogs in the dirt. All over the strip. Oh shit. Some of them had a some of them had the ability to pay for getting the ass shots. Ugh. I didn't even know they were still getting the ass shots. They I thought had ass shots but dirty feet? Ass shots, dirty feet, lipstick even. woe out, uh 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 unpresentable weave. When they got off the elevator, people just got out the way. Like, look at these dirty bitches. <laughs> Good job. Can, Them bitches man. get off the elevator, goddammit. it. They just be like. Whoosh. Like Mad so, Max what hoes. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Motherfuckers ain't even have radios. And they was like, we got some dirty bitches over here by the. Uh, <laughs> they're walking past the Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton wouldn't let them in. Louis Vuitton wouldn't let them in. <laughs> These said bitches they need can't, feet shots. They can't try on no clothes looking like that. If them bitches went in one of them stores, they'll be like, get your dirty ass out of here, bitch. God damn. The point I'm trying to make, dirty bitches, <laughs> you can go from $20 to $100 by just washing your feet and polishing them. <laughs> you need a pimp in your life, bitch. A motherfucker to be like, bitch, don't come on my motherfucking strip looking like that. Get your ass in there and handle your motherfucking hygiene, bitch. <laughs> there was thousands of dirty bitches in Vegas. Thousands. 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 Oh my God. Walk through the MGM next time, a big event. Come on, like that. Just walk through that motherfucker <laughs> and see the dirty bitches and the motherfucking wannabe pimp cup having niggas. I got a. I got. I got. I know you was there. People watching, acting fucking crazy. Poolside must have been worse because when they out at night, you think they get themselves like a poolside. It was terrible. It was terrible. But Floyd won, and that's all that count. Because when they stopped the fight, the whole casino was like, "Yeah!" And all them Irish motherfuckers was like, "Hey, that fucking bullshit." Anyway. I, I got on the dirty bitches. I couldn't help it. I, when I was walking around that motherfucker, and I saw every argument, every tussle, every dispute, right? <laughs> it was a dirty bitch. A dirty bitch. Section eight pimping. Section eight pimping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I couldn't help but look this up, but what? I don't know. I can't figure out who. Talking to the mic. I, I can't figure out who Jim Brown is actually married to now. Do you know who he's married to now? Because I know that one of the wives, the last one he's married to, she was 25 and he was damn near 80. He Six was damn near 80. what? I mean, 60 years old when he got with that one and she was 25. I'm just saying. I heard I she was 35. And he's 80? He, he wasn't 80 when she was 35. But still, look at the spread. You really think that that same woman is? I'm just saying. I'm trying to think of who's holding him down. Right I now. think we should just keep the elder in high regards. And you yeah, know. it don't matter who's holding him down. She ain't Shit. doing a good job. That's, that's too bad if it is true. I was like, yeah. She ain't doing a good job. Okay. If she even there. If she's there, yeah, I don't know. But um, I'm saying, that's somebody say Harmony true. Clown eighty. No, I'm just fucking eighty. No, okay. Harmony. Oh, I'm sorry, Harmony Clown. Harmony Clown just typed in 80. My bad. Oh, no. My but bad. How do you think Connor fought? Do you think he fought well? The fight went just like everybody who know about boxing told me it was going to go. Silly. Conor you McGregor is a fucking this. strong, athletic motherfucker. He came out with his shit, but in he looked hella throwing tired hands right away, is an art. He looked hella mm-hmm. tired real quick. Um, well, MMA, yeah. I like MMA better than boxing. Really? Yeah, Quicker, because of, you can kick, point. you can... Do all kind of shit. Grapple but boxing, if, you fit, if you're if going 12 rounds with just hands. Oh, my God. It's exhausting. If that ain't what you do, it's not going to go well for you most of the time. Unless right. you get lucky and get the, the good punch. Right. But he gave Floyd the best punch he had. That uppercut. That uppercut in the first round. I ain't never seen and, Floyd get hit like and, that. And, and, and Floyd kept coming. Yeah. Kept coming the whole fight. 
Like, mm-hmm. motherfucker, this is what I do. Because it really wasn't even Floyd's style. I, you, you're not used to seeing Floyd fight like that. He came straight ahead. It wasn't they was calling Floyd Little, and Floyd fucked him up. I know Conor McGregor is a prideful man, regardless of the money. He didn't want to lose. Mm. You could tell he ain't want to lose, he, but he found out about that boxing game. That yeah. boxing mm-hmm. shit, that's, you, you need repetition. I like what he said, though, at the end of the fight. He said he, he prepared for two looks, and then Floyd gave him a third look that he wasn't prepared for. He said he put his, his gloves in front of him and just started walking him down. And when he did that. <laughs> because he know that motherfucker don't box like that. Right. If you are an intelligent person, you peep the the boxing game in that fight. Right. You, you hear, up against a motherfucker that don't do this. Did you yeah. hear that that's what he said he claimed he meant by that comment? When he said, oh, I turned him into a Mexican. Did you hear that, that his, his reason and what he meant by that? Right, right. That that's what he meant, that I turned him to one of those fighters because the Mexicans were known for that kind of boxing style. Right. That's what he claims he meant because everybody's like, But <gasps> <laughs> 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 well, Conor McGregor say shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me ask Because really, he, he, he a wild boy from motherfucking Ireland. Mm. Do you think the Triple G Canelo fight it's will be up. as big it looks- as this Mayweather? Because this Mayweather well, McGregor fight was gigantic. It was gigantic, but I'm here to tell you. Um, the Mexican fighters have their homeland rooting for them. Right. So it can be as big. It can and be. When yeah, I went to the Floyd big. Canelo fight, mm-hmm. it was basically all the Mexican brothers in there. Mm-hmm. And they was hurt when he lost. Because when that fight first started, they was in that motherfucker. Do it, D. You know what it's supposed to sound like. The sound he making. Oh no, that's what what he's doing is like some from cartoons and shit. Right, that's all you I know. About that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you about that? he can't called, even do it. That's I, I did it better than her, and I ain't even. No, Mexican. you did not. That's called a grita. The, what, what were you doing? That little charro stuff. Uh, no. Well, that's what they was doing in that motherfucker. That motherfucker was happy as hell at the beginning of that fight, but at the end of that fight, that motherfucker was like. <laughs> well, Damn it. I mean, like it's, it's, what I noticed with Floyd is they always have a disclaimer for every one of his opponents. Either he Some fought him too soon, yeah. he fought him too late. You know, it's too always young, a, dis, a, right, a disclaimer. Right, right. I, was, I saw the fight, man. Um, Canelo could not catch Floyd. He just couldn't Bottom catch him. Bottom line. And, and Floyd, every fast. time he swung, <sighs> Floyd yeah. was like, ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. I don't know about this other <laughs> fighter that was Canelo, so I don't know. I couldn't. See. I've never now, seen Triple, Triple G. G. I heard he's yeah. a good fighter. He's a problem. Yeah, with both hands. Well, we gonna see. He's right. a problem. That'll but be a fight to see. is Triple G Canel- a Mexican fighter? No, no. Yeah, I think What's he's Golovkin. Background? I think yeah, he's Russian like or yeah, Ukraine yeah. or something oh, like that. Oh, so yeah. this is gonna uh-huh. be he's a good. A, this is a good matchup. Gonna be Ontario then that weekend. Now nah, he's a fighter. He's ridiculous. Well, I'm only thing my is, tickets are sold already for the weekend. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, uh, my I, Saturday shows are sold out in Ontario. I think. I think we're gonna add another one. Ontario I, coming up. California. Check the yeah, schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fifty-one fifty crew will be out there. Yeah. That's gonna be cold. Your homegirl coming? Who? Monkey suit. I don't know because I already have my whole family coming this time. Remember, I didn't uh-huh. invite anybody else last time. Last time, Mimi was able to join us, but right. this time I would like to. How your people's there? How people. your people's yeah. in the and building? And they right there around the corner. They gonna wear monkey suit? Very funny. Right. I don't think Aunt Sandy would be wearing no monkey suit. Mimi Aunt going. Sandy in a monkey Sandy. suit. Oh yeah. See, look, it's a perfect example of what I'm saying. <laughs> Kazakhstan. They say Triple G is from Mimi Kazakhstan. Mimi wears cat suits. Yes. But she don't look dirty. No. You get what I'm saying? No. When Mimi dressed, you be like, she keep herself up. Yes. These bitches in Vegas, god damn it, look like burnt biscuits was on the back of the hill. And Vegas can be rough, though. I'm not, I'm not putting up for them. I'm just saying. If they go out there and they're young girls, they don't know how to keep up with themselves. Vegas, you party, and they probably partied Friday. You saw them on Saturday. They, probably, they go on, man. They scooting. These Scootin bitches' feet now. look like them mummies. Remember that movie, The Mummy Returns? And I hope they were on the younger Remember side. Remember when they was they running in the sand? Though. Anyway, these bitches' anyway. feet was fucked up. I saw so many black at the bottom feet. Corey was 
looking at feet. These bitches fix transmissions. Uh oh, with their toes. With their toes. <laughs> Stop. Come on, man. Anyway. Anyway, so poor Sam. We hope Sam's uh, Sam, all better now. Sam, I hope you're all right. You, you back got that in bad Chicago? Out of your system. Yeah, he ate some shit. God damn it, that had him fucked up. Uh, somebody said Corey got a foot fetish. I don't know if I got a foot fetish. Crouton feet. What is oh. a foot fetish though? What is that? No, foot fetish is when you're in. Well, then again, if you were into feet, you probably turned off because they're filthy. It just means you, you can't get it. off unless you got a foot involved. Well, yeah, that's uh-huh. a foot it's, fetish. I don't think I got a foot fetish. No. I mean, a foot is cool, but I'm saying like a foot is cool. Right. <laughs> I don't have my toes out tonight. Yeah, thank God. Look here. Um, I'm going to do my leg. I knew you was going to do the <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> I'm going to do my leg. Cankle hour. Oh, but it's hard to hold it up with my thumb. You say the cankle oh. hour. It's hard to hold it up. D. All up. right, D. <laughs> you got on her old Yeah. They actually have like a cloud, the, uh, the cloud uh, bottom. Come with a bag oh of my, um, oh my God. salt they and sour like, crickets. They feel like I'm walking on clouds. Let's wrap this shit up. Frank and Genevieve are drunk now. They over there oh. passed the fuck out. They got to pee. <laughs> you know they got to pee. <laughs> Somebody told me that something dropped. I saw that Frank, goddamn. As soon as I said that, Frank hand came from under the table like, oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they're right over there. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. They're over there like, they're not looking at us. Go ahead, Frank. <laughs> I like Frank's cut. You saw Frank's haircut? No, I didn't see it really. Yeah, it looks good. What he do? He got the, you know. He, he did some different shit. He got the old Pat Riley cut. <laughs> he got oh, he put. But it's purple and gold. <laughs> <laughs> He's still. Wife be dying his weekend? hair. <laughs> West Palm Beach is going on this weekend for me. Uh, everybody in the Florida area, check it out. I'm in West Palm Beach Improv. Um, over there where that motherfuckers got them. They be having some real pool parties over there. And West hotels there and they swimming pools in the nightclubs at night. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go to one of those if you want to take a family vacation. You just want to sleep and sleep in. Can't. Yeah. What, yeah. what they say? They just in there going crazy. You already right. know. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, all right. So I'm gonna get ready to wrap this shit up. And um, so you got some you dash radio tomorrow night. Voice of reason. Oh yeah. Five to seven p.m. Dash radio dot com mm-hmm. forward slash dash talk. I'm I'll be there. I'm going to a quinceanera this weekend. My cousin. A quinceanera. And I'll videotape some gritas and some uh, mariachis for you. Some gritas and some mariachis. Gritas, yeah, they actually have contests for that. Oh, that's. At our parties. That's dope, D. Mm-hmm. That's, all right, we're going to get ready to wrap it up. Going to Corey Oakland 5150 Show. Once again, David Banner, thank you for my box. Yeah, God sweet. box. Go get the so, God box the right now. That. To the sister who gave us the... Um, Mashari. Mashari. Uniquely wired M. Oh, dot com. All around my She's really dope. Oh. God damn it. Thank you for the fishing bobbers. We will use them this weekend in Florida <laughs> as a uh, hunt marlin. <laughs> Oh, he's just I like that. He's killing Fuck himself. Yeah. He's killing himself. Anyway, all right. All right. 5150 Nation. Y'all Yee. be good. Jim Brown, get better. Get them people to fuck away from you.